for the brr, ah, uh, when the brr, 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 brr. Are y'all ready? Welcome to the Renaissance. Hello, everyone. It's Quentin with the Fashion Doll. I'm here with another video for you. Welcome or welcome back if you are new to my channel. Um, today, I just went to see the Renaissance film from the Beyonce Giselle Knowles Carter. And I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to give a live reaction of what I felt um, about the film. This is literally what I wore to go see my sister. I have on She Ain't No Diva hoodie. You can purchase these on my Etsy uh, today. And I actually put a new one with the hand flip going right. So you can do a left or a right one. You can buy a pair and you both can point at each other and say, She Ain't No Diva. Um, but let's, uh, and you know, before we get into the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe to me. I talk about fashion. I talk about dolls. I unbox dolls. Yes. Okay, so I went to see the Renaissance film, and I'm just going to be honest. When um, she announced the movie and the tickets came out, I was not excited. I was not. I love a Beyonce DVD. But it being in the movies just sounded annoying to me. Um, you know, like when you watch Beyonce DVDs, you want to be at home singing and dancing and be in the comfort of your home. But I was like, child, I don't want to be down to the movie with no people dancing and singing. That sounds irritating. But, you know, FOMO kicked in. So I said, well, maybe I'll go. I could have went to a screening Thursday before it officially came out, but I wasn't feeling well, so I went today. I went today at noon, and I went in the suburbs. Because, again, I did not want to deal with a million people at the movie and everyone up singing and dancing. So it was very chill. I would say it was maybe 20 people at the most in the theater I was in. I don't even think it was that many, and I did IMAX. I guess my biggest takeaways from the film, because I don't want this to be, like, I'm not trying to spoil the movie. But my biggest takeaways, I love seeing Beyonce and her family. Um, and Beyonce always gives us peeks into what her family, a little what's going on. But I think this was more, um, like, even with her, the twins, we get to see more of the twins. Even seeing Blue, seeing Blue talk. And Blue having a personality and like, you know, Blue probably just going to be an adult soon. It was so crazy to me. I remember when Blue was born. I think Blue is two years younger than my niece. And Blue almost feels, I call Beyonce my sister anyway. So Blue felt like my niece. So it was like, wow, this is so crazy. This little girl, I remember her as a baby. And we was arguing people down and fighting. And now she, you know, she's a teen now. It's so special. Um, I love that Blue got to add something else to her story. Because her being born, people were so negative about her hair and just how she looked or was going to look in general. So I love that she got to say, no, you same people who talk shit about me and was, you know, making writing posts and talking about my hair. Y'all down to my mama show cheering for me. And I love that. Um, another takeaway that I took being uh, a gay man, a gay black man, part of the LGBTQ plus community, I really appreciated, you know, this album in general was for us to celebrate us and like the music and impact that we have on the world. But I love that not only were these people a part of ballroom um, in the show, they were part of the movie. And I noticed there was an older black couple in there like a heterosexual couple. And I kept thinking while I'm watching it, I love that Beyonce did this. Because in a world where um, people are trying to outlaw drag queens in certain states and trans people are uh, going through being killed and having issues with their rights, it was like, nope, Beyonce says, okay, so while y'all doing that, y'all gonna show my movie everywhere and it's not gonna be, you know, banned and all this other stuff because it depicts gay people. And I don't know if that, if people thought about that or like if that registered to people, but that that was the big statement. I think but Beyonce makes political statements often without it being, hey, everybody, look at me. <laughs> look what I'm doing. Because she, this is genuine, if that makes sense. 
I feel very, this album made me feel seen, but just seeing all of these queer people in the show, I just felt so seen, and I loved that. Um, Beyonce always inspires me, so she definitely inspired me to just work more and just, I'm, a, I'm an artist and I've been going at what I've been wanting to do for years. And like, you know how you get, you think an opportunity is going to come and it doesn't go all the way through. And sometimes you get discouraged. But every time Beyonce and Solange make something, it just puts a, like a kick in my ass that no, don't get discouraged and keep going. Because, you know, you might not get things when you want it to, but things will happen when they are supposed to happen. Um, what else did I enjoy? I love um, how there are parts in the show that, because I went to the Renaissance tour. I went to the, I know I went on the 29th. I don't remember which day that was. I think it might have been the first day at um, in New Jersey at MetLife. But watching the movie, I noticed things that I didn't notice when I was at the show. Like, some of the choreography, I couldn't fully see when I was watching the show live. But I picked it up in the movie. Even at the end when she does Summer Renaissance, I didn't notice that the dancers put on, excuse me, choir robes. I never noticed that. So I do like that there were things that... If you didn't catch it in when you were seeing it live, you definitely saw it um, in the movie. The movie visually was stunning. Um, love getting getting to see the costumes up close and personal. There are some costumes that we didn't really get to see in the movie, and I wish we saw more, but that's okay. Um, and I love how they went talked about Uncle Johnny more and explained the fashion piece. People try to act like Beyonce is not fashionable. She's very fashionable to me. But her mother said fashion saved our family's life. And I was like, wow, that's deep. I like that. Even though, you know, people don't think of them as being prominent people in the fashion industry. She said fashion saved our family's life. I said, that that's something. That was a word for me. And, you know, Beyonce is my sister. And we I relate to her a lot. And when she was saying how she has to keep repeating herself and how people don't listen. And um, she said something like, everything just feels like it always has to be a fight. And I feel like that often. Like sometimes when you're just expressing your feelings on something or, you know, trying to give direction, people always take what you are saying um, in a different way. Like, I'm not a black woman, I'm a gay black man, but it's similar, I think, because people walk around thinking, like, black women are sassy or the 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 running thing is black women have a bad attitude. And I think that applies to gay black men as well, especially if you are more feminine. So, yeah, it that clicked with me. And it's, it's frustrating to just be being calm and just communicating with people and it goes to anger or oh, it's an argument. So I definitely understood that. Yes, Beyonce, maybe that's a Virgo thing. Because I think people also are intimidated by Virgos. And for the most part, because we are so put together and so organized, when we say something, it feels like it's just like, oh my God, like the worst thing ever was said about you. And it just doesn't have to be that deep. People can say what they want to about us, but we can't have opinions. Even when she said something about people are turning into robots or like machines, I say that often because I do feel like sometimes people don't allow me to have emotions. Like if I express how I'm feeling, I'm overreacting or I'm um, being dramatic or, you know, it's not that serious. But then the something smaller can happen to another person and it's the worst thing in the world. So I get that with her. Um, yeah, definitely relatable. This was just really relatable. This was my favorite Beyonce film. And I like how Beyonce says she is tired of trying to please people. You, This is me. Either you like me or you don't. And that's at 30. That's how I'm feeling. If you're not for the person that I am today, you probably don't need to be here because it's not going to be too much different, if that makes sense. So love that. 
And I loved how um, we got little shots of Kelly and Michelle. Or oh, like Beyonce showed all the Destiny Child reuniting. Then we got a shot of uh, like Beyonce on the boat with Solange and Kelly and maybe Angie and Beyonce twerking. And I was like, see, I love this. We never get to see that. I want to see more of Beyonce being a regular girl because I know she's a regular girl. If Beyonce be out getting drunk and want to twerk and be cute just like me, okay? But I loved it. Even I, and I felt so a part of the movie. The She Ain't No Diva part, it was just a nice long stretch and I really appreciate it because She Ain't No Diva. But those are my thoughts. I I love the movie. I'm going to buy it. I have all of her other DVDs um, or films on DVD, but I will be purchasing this one. I will actually go see it again for the runtime to be like two hours and 45 minutes. It did not feel long at all. I, it felt perfect. Like I wasn't antsy or anything. It was perfect. I have no words. I have nothing to say. I think Beyonce should put out a lookbook for all her looks from the tour or something. But other than that, stunning. 10, 10, 10 across the board. Um, and while we're on uh, Beyonce, I'm just gonna add these up. So I won't, I'm not gonna do a full fashion review, but she did do her London Renaissance premiere. And Miss Taylor Swift showed up there. And thank you, Miss Taylor. She was in a silver ball main dress, which was cute. I'm gonna put it up on the side. I just wish her hair and makeup was different. But you know, I guess that's her thing, 30s, 40s glam, but she can be more current. Um, and then Beyonce wore a Tom Brown look for the red carpet with a updo, like half up, half down. And then for the after party, she had on this ball mane. I believe it was a pre-fall look. I like both. I think I like the ball mane better. The Tom Brown was cool. I love the front of that shoe. I just don't like the heelless heel because it makes me think of Lady Gaga in like 2009. And that just feels really dated. But other than that, she looks stunning. And my sister said, y'all were about to talk about my complexion this time. So she put on her black. But stunning. But everyone, please go out and see. Renna, 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 Sonny. Ooh, we even got a part with Kevin Prodigy in. And I ain't gonna give too much. But I mean, she really showed the girl. She showed the girl. She did us right. We'll go out and see Renna, 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 Sonny. Let's get our girl some good box office numbers. Um, it looks like y'all have been watching my Renaissance LA premiere review. If you have not seen that, head on over and check that out after this video. Again, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. If you would like one of these hoodies, I will put the link in the description on my Etsy. And I will see you soon. Ta-ta.